All right, this is a pretty efficient way that I throw marks for my own dog. I have an orange gold line pylon that I can tell when I'm out there in the field where it's at. So I'm just going to lay it down here because I'm on grass. Now normally I do this and I walk a big deep circle. But because I have a tripod here, I'm going to try to stay within the camera thing. So I'm, I'm not going to walk a circle, but you'll get the idea. He's got, uh, I only have to carry two bumpers in the pylon. So he's holding a bumper in his mouth. Now this first one, I have to just clean him up. I just started, this is uh, my, was my wife's dog. So he dropped the bumper at first. I put him back and now I'm having him mark. But after that, then he's going to come out, do the bumper exchange and return back to the pylon. I only have to walk a few feet to pick up that bumper. Normally I would also just shoot the Thunder 100 and throw, but I don't have it with me. I could get in 20 good marks in a short period of time in a whole big circular motion. Now I'm going to move back a little further. He also gets to square up. His sit whistle gets better. Yes, I give him a mark command here. And he's also got a bumper in his mouth the whole time, so he's not dropping anything except to pick that one up. And I'm going to run this deeper and deeper. And again, I would have him squarely turning while I'm walking this circle on that pylon, but uh, I've run out of camera, camera space, so I can't really tell where the camera's pointing, but I did a pretty good job this time of staying in the range. So now I'm moving it back a little further. Now normally I could do this a little faster because when he's, uh, okay, there he, he gets the bumper. And when normally when he's like, you know, right about here, I could start walking over and picking up that bumper. But this is, I haven't had this dog for a while. So this is the first time I came back out with this, but he's still, he's doing it pretty good for, I'll have this cleaned up in a, in a day or two. So normally by the time he gets back there, I could easily have that and be ready to throw another one. Obviously the drill works better in a circle. The dog would see a lot different pictures that way. And I'm just getting deeper and deeper away from the dog. Yeah, I tried to put this one on the hill, but uh, it was a little short. My arm's not what it used to be. So it's it landed right at the base of that hill. Now I'm at the base of the hill, so it's pretty hard for me to miss the hill.
So now I gotta just walk up the hill a few feet and uh, get the last bumper and walk back. I'm gonna cut this for the first time just to take out the minute or so it takes me to walk back. All right, so now I'm closer here and I'm gonna just show it to you a little uh, from a closer version. With me at this, he's gonna turn completely square with the bumper, work on his mark command, goes bumper exchange, back to the place, walk over, pick up the bumper, that orange pylon makes it easier for him to turn square, so you'll see that when I throw to the other side, normally a dog would come out ahead, but you'll see him kind of back up and stay square. Mark. So he's not he's not watching me. That's a mark command. He shouldn't be watching me there. So there's a difference between the two where I tell him to sit and he looks at me and I tell him to mark and he looks at the object. And there you have it. That's how I throw marks by myself.